in 2021, of over 40 million new displacements, nearly 31 million originated through disaster. Disasters are a leading cause of forced displacement globally. With the Asia-Pacific region, which is experiencing majority of these new displacements, hosting this year's Global Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction, GP2022. Reducing the risk of disaster is not only a key institutional priority for IOM, but a global governance challenge that requires greater attention, investment, and concerted action. The findings from the IPCC 6 assessment report and the UNDRR global assessment report further reinforce the growing body of evidence that climate change is having profound impacts on human mobility. Human mobility is one of the adaptation strategies acknowledged within the 2030 Agenda's Sustainable Development Goals, the Paris Agreement, and also the Sendai Framework on Disaster Risk Reduction. The Sendai Framework not only recognizes displacements as a principal consequence of disaster, but acknowledges the important contributions that migrants can also make in addressing the drivers of risk and promoting resilience. IOM has a critical role to play in contexts characterized by displacement. From 23 to 28 May, the seventh session of the GP 2022 will take place in Bali, hosted by the government of Indonesia and UNDRR. This is an important opportunity to take stock of progress and challenges and to identify good practices to accelerate the implementation of the Sendai framework at the local, national, regional, and global level. Now more than ever, it is critical that IOM, our partners, and the communities we work with build upon forward-looking multi-asset risk informed approaches. IOM's responses to climate-induced migration are holistic, covering prevention and preparedness, response, early recovery and resilience building, and reintegration of return migrants. We are implementing over 250 risk reduction and climate change adaptation projects in some of the world's gravest humanitarian emergencies, including Ethiopia, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, DRC, Sudan, Mozambique, South Sudan, and Nigeria. Critically, IOM's displacement tracking metrics is one of the world's largest repositories of information on displacement patterns and population mobility. It is designed to systematically capture, process, and disseminate information on both new movements and the evolving needs of displaced populations across the humanitarian and development communities. As we witness uh, widespread uh, humanitarian suffering from sustained droughts and recurrent tropical storms across Africa and Asia-Pacific, alongside the ongoing impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, we must ensure that our joint commitment to disaster risk reduction accounts for human mobility in all of its dimensions. To achieve this goal, we must work together, humanitarians with development and climate practitioners, outside of our own comfort zone, and collaborate in new ways. This has to happen at all levels, global, national, and most importantly, local, where resilience can only be built with and by communities. It is important to, to remember that not only can human mobility save lives, enhance resilience, and reduce risk, but it can also lead to further vulnerabilities to populations when not managed in a safe, 
dignified and orderly way. IOM calls on all governments and parties to adopt the, the IPCC's vision of moving from climate risk to climate resilient development. On the occasion of the seventh session of the Global Platform for DRR this May, IOM is committed now more than ever to translating the mobile dimensions of reducing disaster risk into concrete actions to ensure the safety and protection of migrants and displaced persons everywhere. Thank you, and I wish you a successful global platform.